Plan set templates are a powerful way to be able to assemble drawings onto sheets with borders and predefined scales. Through the use of templates, order of drawings, and even what drawings are assembled onto specific sheets can all be predefined and loaded for the assembly of drawings for printing. In the sample set that is being previewed here, a cover page followed by site plan, foundation, main floor plan, and more have already been assembled onto a specific border for printing purposes. Once a plan set has been put together, it can then be saved as a template. That template, in turn, could be then loaded and have drawings automatically loaded into the title blocks in the order with which the plan set was put together. To do this, right-click on the plan set that has already been created, and from the pull-down menu, select Save as Template. From the Save As dialog that opens, the file name can now be input for the template page. In this case, Plan Set Template, example, 24 by 36. Click the Save button. With the template now saved, another project can be opened, and when that project is open, we will be able to then go in and load the Plan Set Template for the assembly of the drawings. Upon opening the new project, open the main floor plan onto the drawing screen. Using the navigation menu located to the left side of the screen, scroll the slider bar down to the Plan Sets option. Position the cursor over Plan Sets, right click, select Add Plan Set. Input a name for the plan set which will be associated to this project, in this example using templates for plan sets. Select template from the method, and from the list of templates, select the plan set template example 24 by 36 that we just created. Note the format information that has been saved as part of the template, including the page size, the border, the margins, and even the watermark. In the pages option is the order of pages which have been saved as part of the template. Below the list of pages is what drawings are mapped to what template drawings within the Save Plan Set template. Select OK to close the dialog. The Plan Set template is loaded with the list of sheets as well as what respective drawings have been loaded into those sheets now available for selection. Loading the cover page, for example, will show that there are two three-dimensional views which are preloaded into the cover sheet. Upon regenerating those views, we will see the exterior and interior 3D perspective. Selecting the site plan page, we can see that the drawing is automatically loaded onto the sheet with the border. Using the move command, this drawing can now be relocated to center it for printing purposes. Moving on to the next page, Foundation Plan, we can see that the Foundation Plan was automatically loaded, and once again using the Move option, first the drawing, and then the name or label can be moved into position for printing purposes. The key really is, as we open up the main floor plan, that your drawings have been created in the same order, and we just simply load the template. The template then maps to the drawings and automatically loads it onto the print page. And in this case here, we can see as we move into the second floor plan, we have both the roof as well as the second floor plan being loaded into the template. Using the Move command and then the Align to Edge command, drawings can then be realigned onto the print page for a completed set of drawings. As previously shown in the Plan Sets video, the Align to Edge tool is a very quick and efficient way to get items such as drawings and labels properly aligned on the sheet. Using that same tool, as we open the elevation sheet, you can see that all four elevations have been properly assembled into the drawing and simply need to be moved for printing purposes. In this case here, a combination of the Move Item command as well as the Align to Edge tool can be used to properly set the drawings up onto the sheet. 
finally, as we open the cross-section drawing, we can see that in this case, the cross-section can be changed to a different scale. Positioning the cursor on the drawing itself and right-clicking, the standard scale can be changed from what was imported to a new scale on the sheet. As previously demonstrated, it can then be moved into place along with the label and finally saved. Setting up plants at templates is just that simple. Once these have been set up, they can be loaded time and again for your various projects for printing purposes.